You're watching KLTX, Channel 15, serving the city of Lufkin. edition of Forest Country Gardening. My name is Elaine Cameron and I'm an Angelina County Master Gardener. We're honored to welcome Angelina County Sheriff Greg Sanchez and Warden Stacy Fredoux to our show today. And the reason is we're going to talk about the gardens at the Angelina County Jail. Mm -hmm. And welcome. Hey. Welcome well, yeah. to the show. It's good to be here. So I, I know when folks drive down Lufkin Avenue past the jail, they mm -hmm. see the garden and wonder what's going on. Can you tell us about the gardens, Sheriff? Well, you know, uh, when I became sheriff in year, uh, year 2013, uh, <clears throat> a couple months into it, we, uh, Warden Dawson came on board, and his name was Greg Dawson. Uh, he had worked at the state prisons, and uh, I think he had worked a lot of the private prisons well later, but he was a really a, just a great warden. He was very knowledgeable. Uh, he was a good leader. And I talked to him about, you know, I'd seen gardens, you know, when I was young at the prisons and everything, and I guess I just never forgot it. And I, I talked to him about it, and he said, yeah, you know, we had, we had gardens in there. He said, uh, you want to do that? And I said, well, I'd like to, you know, if we can, if it's possible. He looked into it, and he came back, and he said, hey, I got a guy we're going to hire that I uh, think it's going to work well, uh, Mr. Stanley. And that was probably around November or so, and he came on board. And some, somewhere around January, February, they started getting ready for the spring garden and in the year 14. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he got that together and we uh, made, and that, that garden that year was real, real good. It, mm -hmm. The weather held out and uh, we had a great garden. They took a lot of pictures of the corn and right. things like that. But Mr. Stanley uh, does a great job with the garden and uh, and I, you know, I'd like to say we did name our garden after Greg Dawson in a memorial. Yes. And uh, he later, uh, well, actually, he later moved on and became a JP in Tyler County, but he okay. passed away. Okay. And uh, we really hated that because he was really a good person. And so we named it after him. But the garden is really good uh, from the standpoint, it uh, keeps the inmates busy mm -hmm. and uh, they're able to give back. And it's uh, a good morale booster, I mm -hmm. really believe. And uh, then again, it saves money for our budget too, and uh, there it gives the inmates some good food to eat mm -hmm. and uh, that are healthy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I know Miss Fredo's got a lot to say about right, it. Too, right, right. So. Well, you know, we talk a lot about in master gardening the benefits of gardening. You know, we have school gardens and trying to encourage people to garden, but it's good for everyone, isn't it, Stacy? It is, absolutely is. Uh, it motivates the inmates to get up, uh, do something with themselves while they're incarcerated. Um, it keeps them from being uh, mo you know, agile and just sitting in the tank um, waiting mm -hmm. to go to court. Um, it's a volunteer program. They're not required to work. They put in requests. Uh, Corporal Stanley interviews every inmate that works in the guard. They have to meet a specific uh, criteria to be able to go outside uh, the secure facility. Um, but the inmates, whenever they go out there and they work, it's hard work. If anybody's ever gardened in, right. in a vegetable garden, it is hard work. Right. Planting, tending to the plants, um, pulling weeds from it to where they don't smother your produce out. Um, it's a lot of hard work and they go out in the cold and the heat and they do that for us. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a really good program that the inmates enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, the female inmates, they assist with uh, preparing the produce that comes out of the garden for um, consumption uh, and to go into our food service department. Not only have we uh, provided the food for the inmates, we also donate things to the senior citizens um, or Salvation Army. Uh, they, they get produce from us when we are overstocked in the kitchen and our kitchen can't keep up with the produce that we're pulling out of the garden. We donate, donate the excessive amounts mm -hmm. to these other um, organizations in Angelina County and it is very welcomed. They enjoy it. 
So the program is a win-win for everybody. It really is. Yes, it yeah. really is. The, because they have mm -hmm. a sense of accomplishment, mm -hmm. learning a little bit of work ethic. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're eating better because you have fresh vegetables. Yeah. And I think, you know, as a nurse, I, I think if you eat better, you feel better, and you probably mm -hmm. act better. Yes. Helps yeah. you overall, the whole person. Mm -hmm. You're doing Absolutely. something for the whole person while mm -hmm. they're there. And you would be amazed at, uh, there's been several inmates that worked for Corporal Stanley in that garden that since they've gotten out of jail, mm -hmm. they have come back to thank him for allowing them to work that, wow. you know, work mm -hmm. in that um, garden um, and for him to motivate them because it's not just about watching the inmates. It's about, you know, um, rehabilitating them to go back into society mm -hmm. and be productive. Right. And uh, they really respect him for what, what he does in that garden. It might be interesting to do a study to see their outcomes. Mm -hmm. yeah, those those yeah. that have participated in the gardens, if they, yeah. mm -hmm. if it helps them get started on a better life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is true. Be an yes. interesting thing mm -hmm. to look at. Yes, know? yes, it so, would be. So it benefits them with with mm -hmm. working, their morale. It, it just mm -hmm. all in all is a good thing. Yes, and mm -hmm. then you raise so many vegetables. Well, you serve them in mm -hmm. the for the meals at the jail, right? Yes, you have fresh. Yes. Has that impacted your budget as far as your groceries? Oh, yeah. I mean, she can tell you a couple of years ago we saved about $12,000 in our budget. And I know a lot of the taxpayers. In tax just that one year. In one year. And I know the taxpayer would be interested in that because of the, you know, the budget and the money right. and taxpayer money and things of that nature. Uh, so it does it does save money. You know, mm -hmm. it's really a good, good thing for the county. Mm -hmm. And the meals are probably better. Yes. yes, by having the availability of fresh things. Yeah, of I know I like things. garden food. Too. I know, I know. Everybody does. Yes, right. absolutely. Enjoy mm -hmm. that. Right. So, uh, and okay, and methods you use. So, how do you till the garden? Do you get hire someone to till it up each spring, or? Well, we actually have a volunteer that comes. Um, we have we ha now have a tractor that was donated to us, and uh, we purchased uh, a used um, blade. Mm -hmm. that tills the garden but when we get ready to prep it officially mm -hmm. uh, like as far as spring garden there is a gentleman um what is his name sheriff uh rodney paulette yes mm -hmm. okay he, he will bring his own equipment up there and he will till the entire plot for us mm -hmm. and turn everything over mm -hmm. and then corporal stanley will go back with his tractor and he will go over that um and then start preparing the the ground for it mm -hmm. uh, we've also had um one of the commissioners um he Kermit, mm -hmm. he um, he provided us some um, dirt mm -hmm. to add into our soil, mm -hmm. which gives it even more um, vitamins and stuff that we need to produce our, mm -hmm. our produce, mm -hmm. and that's been beneficial to us as well. Wow! Have you had your soil tested out there? Um, I want to say that Corporal Stanley's taken yes. the soil several mm -hmm. times to mm -hmm. the Ag Extension right. Office and yes. had them tested for right. him, right. Um, and and gotten recommendations of mm -hmm. you know adding. Um, lie and different things to the ground to right. you know and we actually some of the produce that we pull out that's no longer any good mm -hmm. we actually use that um, as compost mm -hmm. and then we put that back into the ground yeah. when we till up mm -hmm. right. so yeah, that the, gives you yeah. more matter like yes, the turnips you know they'll sure. till them up and, in the ground and everything. right yes right. yeah so, so you have fairly good soil out there. Apparently. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. a lot of space. If we could just get the weather to work with us. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But currently yeah. it's so wet. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's hard to yeah. be out there to do much. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I know. Most of the years have been good. We had one year, though, that, you know, was pretty bad for us. Yes, it was it just like your, land out yeah. there. But, I mean, we were still pulling produce out, but not the quantities yeah. that we were getting previously. And yeah. it's hard to have people out there working in that. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, they so, do a good job though. And, they do a great job. You know, they you know a lot of times we, they you know it's about three acres is what the mm -hmm. the the garden is about mm -hmm. three acres. So a lot of times, you know, because of watering, you know, they'll put water in buckets and we got plenty of labor, so they go oh. down through there with their buckets and okay. put water. Okay. I was going to ask you about how yeah. you watered. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want to yeah. say that it was in two thousand and sixteen. 
mm-hmm. uh, Corporal Stanley and uh, Robert Emmon, who mm-hmm. um, was running one of the road crews for the sheriff. Mm-hmm. Um, him and his inmates, they got the big containers mm-hmm. and hooked it up to our drainage system um, on our building for mm-hmm. when it rained. It would go into those containers. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. We have, a, I want to say, seven or eight of those set up to where we catch all the rainwater that we can. Great. And we use that rainwater to put back into the garden in Excellent. the hot summer months. Great. So right. you're using rainwater harvesting. Excellent. Yes, ma'am. Right. And composting. And yes, all ma'am. those right. good things. Right. 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 And weeding. I'm sure weeding is a continual thing, isn't it? Constantly. Yes. Yeah. So, in East Texas, you know how that is. Right. And so, so we have uh, winter weeds, and then we have and, summer weeds. Yeah. And, yes. Yeah. yeah. And fire ants. <laughs> yeah. And, and oh, fire, and fire yeah. ants. Yeah. And so what do you do for fire ant control? They, uh, uh, he has a uh, fire ant poison that he puts out that mm-hmm. it's not uh, harmful right. uh, to the inmates. And um, he, he keeps that doctored. Like he stays on top of stays that. Ahead of it. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, the last thing we want is for our detainees to go out there working and be covered in fire ants. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. Um, so they they keep up with that, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're never going to get rid of fire ants, but nah. no. keep them under control. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And what do you use for fertilizer? You you got recommendations? What exactly to add? So just your basic. Yes, you basic. Uh, in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Okay. We get um, a lot of our fertilizer from the feed store. Okay. And um, there was one time I want to say that uh, the ag extension office, uh, we were lacking something, mm-hmm. and so uh, he gave him a recommendation of something, and we actually got that uh, purchased and put into the garden. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, like I said, he just he just uses what the feed store has. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Okay. And you raised a lot of squash. Yes. Do, do you have trouble with squash vine borers or how do you do the squash? Do you plant it early? Uh, we planted a little bit early. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he watches that uh, farmer's almanac okay. fairly well. Okay. Um, so he knows when good planting days are and he right. keeps on top of that, you right. know, and um, he actually uh, talks to the people at the feed store, you mm-hmm. know, and gets recommendations from them and in the Ag Extension's office of you know, well, the, depending on the weather and, mm-hmm. you know, how the soil's doing of when he needs to plant. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's worked out well for us so far. Right, right. Yeah, I know from experience, like, my husband loves squash. But so many years I've planted mm-hmm. it, squash vine borers have gotten it before we had much. So yeah. last year I planted it early, like mm-hmm. mid-March, and I think I beat them Yeah, I think yeah. before they come out. We haven't yeah. had a lot of issues with that. Yeah. Um, normally... Yeah. When he's planting, he's planted right at when it needs to be planted. Right, and he's on top of it. He is. He gets recommendations from so he. I mean, he pulls resources mm-hmm. uh, to get the information he needs to make sure that you know he's doing what he needs to do mm-hmm. in that garden, mm-hmm. uh, so that it'll produce um, right. a large quantity. Well, you know, and Miss Friday will tell you that you know that was what was so important was that Greg Dawson picked a very good person uh-huh. to Absolutely. to oversee it because yeah, as you can tell. He knows what he's doing, uh-huh. and so you got to get somebody like that, and that's not real easy to do. Right, uh, to get a jailer that or a correctional officer that can have that knowledge, right, and and also take it serious. Yes, right. So and he does. He takes it very, and he works very well with the with the with the inmates. Um, he gets along with them, and uh, but he's also firm, and they respect him. Yes, and uh, so he's got control of it, mm-hmm. and uh, and so it, you know it's been a great. Right. Great uh, resource for us. Well, that's a special person that you mm-hmm. wear two hats. You're the yes. jailer, yes. and you're the subject matter yes. expert for the garden. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's terrific. Yeah. And he he also helps with other things. So mm-hmm. he's not yeah. just, he's not just doing the garden. He's actually doing mm-hmm. other duties at work. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but it, he has been a major asset mm-hmm. oh, yeah. to that great, garden. Great, great. He's a great mm-hmm. person. Yeah. And how many yeah. crops you do? Uh, tell us all the crops you raised. Uh, we've done corn. We've done okra. The okra, the mm-hmm. one year that we did the okra, it was, oh my, it, it produced so much okra. <laughs> we couldn't get it to stop. Yeah. We eventually just had to cut them down mm-hmm. because they would not stop producing. And uh-huh. our kitchen was like, we can't take any more. <laughs> um, we did okra, squash, zucchini, uh, peppers, uh-huh. bell peppers, jalapeno mm-hmm. peppers, tomatoes, um, the large tomatoes and mm-hmm. the cherry tomatoes. Um, greens, peas, mm-hmm. different peas, mm-hmm. um, turnip greens, collard greens, mustard greens. We do all of that. So you have something growing most of the year. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Yes. We try to have our winter garden. Uh, we've done cabbage as well. Mm-hmm. Um, we we try to do our winter garden and you know spring garden every year. Mm-hmm. And tomatoes. Do, uh, 
Where do you get the plants? Do you raise your own or? No, he purchases all of his plants from the feed store uh, okay. on Lufkin Avenue. Okay. Okay. And have you gotten any community donations to help you out with supplies? Mm-hmm. Yes, we've had a we've had a few. Good. Yeah, Rodney Paulette, and then uh, we had a lady uh, or a man that would bring you know donate every year. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we we do get and and one thing I was going to mention you mentioned coming over here was the poundage. Um, yes, um, you tell them that? Corporal Stanley tracks the poundage that we bring mm-hmm. out every year. He gives the sheriff and I a report. Mm-hmm. Um, usually it's monthly, but I ask him to kind of give me a, a total from mm-hmm. when the garden mm-hmm. started, which they didn't track it in 2014, and I want to say that that's what, <laughs> that was our best year. Really? Um, but from 2015 until current, we've produced almost 40,000 <laughs> pounds of produce out of those that garden. Amazing, mm-hmm. amazing, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. And produce, when you buy it commercially, it's expensive. It is. Oh, yeah. And it's already old many times and perishable, mm-hmm. right? Yes. So you really save a lot of money. Right. right? Sure have. Awesome. And you donate um, You donate access to Salvation Army and other places that feed people? Yes, ma'am. Right. right. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm sure they appreciate mm-hmm. that And well. Angelina, uh, Angelina County Senior Citizen. Uh, we yes. Donated we've there, we've donated to them as well. Right. 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 Yeah, mm-hmm. I was reading about them recently that... Mm-hmm. We have a lot of seniors in our community that apparently are mm-hmm. food challenged. Right. Yeah. right. So that's awesome. And they can have mm-hmm. fresh things to eat. Yes. yes. Right. So, Sheriff, tell us, how has the garden increased? I know you started out with a certain area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did. It was it, When we first started, it was a little smaller, and then we added some more. I won't say, you know, let's estimate of two acres down to, and then we increased three mm-hmm. acres, you know, another acre or so. Uh, anyway, it did increase, mm-hmm. and uh, we were able to grow that much more crop and keep the inmates much more right. busier too. Right. And uh, so, it's, you know, that was kind of neat, you know, mm-hmm. adding on to it and because it became so popular as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's a really good way for folks mm-hmm. at home to start the garden too. Yes. Because right. people get ambitious and mm-hmm. they plow out the backyard and they're tired of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we always say it's good to start smaller. Yes. Mm-hmm. And accomplish that. Then you can still increase it. And that was really it. I mean, we didn't know how well it was going to go over mm-hmm. and how well, you know, the, the program was going to work out. But we realized at the first year, wow, this is really good. Mm-hmm. You know, This is a keeper. Yeah. Continue on yes. with it. Right. Tell us, Ms. Fredu, mm-hmm. were there inmates that helped um, with their expertise in yes. the garden? Yes, we've had several inmates that's been on the garden squad that um, have brought their own knowledge of raising a garden and you know harvesting the, the produce and stuff uh, to the garden. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been very beneficial. The first year in 2014, we had several inmates on there um, that were very knowledgeable about the soil and the, what produce and when to plant and things like that. And it, it, it was very, very helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, and I believe that that was the first year um, was our best year mm-hmm. so far. Um, but yes, their knowledge mm-hmm. that they have. And then you have some that's never had a garden before, mm-hmm. but they learn while they're mm-hmm. out there. Right. Um, and, you know, like I said, they feel accomplished, like they've accomplished something. Right. You know, and it's just, it's been very beneficial, right. the knowledge they bring with them to the garden. You know, and you mentioned something earlier. It'd be neat to have a follow-up. Yes, And see, yes. you know, how well, you know, if they continue with the garden or, you know, the impact that it had on them. Mm-hmm. So if they are watching, maybe they'll... Call Miss Miss Fredu right. or me and let us know. We'd love to know their That's right. their feedback. That's right. You know, and and uh, the impact that it did have. How it had what impact it had on their lives as a yes. whole. Yes. Yes. And yeah. How it helped them get and that would restarted. Be kind of neat. It yeah. would. Mm-hmm. It yes. would. It would be. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm sure you all need encouragement every mm-hmm. day, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. 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 That's it, the good thing. It it makes it makes you feel like when you're being encouraged and. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, thanked for your for your help or your services or whatever it, it makes you feel mm-hmm. um, good about yourself mm-hmm. um, and it motivates you to work even harder right um, to not just to prove to someone else but to prove to themselves that that they are capable of doing something right, um, right. that's beneficial mm-hmm. so. and those that are experts that undoubtedly helps them they, yes they realize they can teach exactly and they can lead and it might help yes and motivate Yes, in some and, and you know when you're working out there, uh, the garden squad has eight inmates on it. Um, those eight guys live together, they work together, 
Um, so they're together pretty much 24 hours a day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they develop relationships um, mm-hmm. that it allows them to work together as a team. Mm-hmm. Um, anybody knows that you can't do a garden by yourself. Right. It's hard, right. you know, especially the size that we have. Right. So, you know, it's a team effort. If they see that one guy's getting tired, they'll say, go sit down for a little bit. We've got it, you mm-hmm. know, and they, they take care of each other. That's right. good. Yeah. And they're developing relationships in a good atmosphere yes. Yes. versus yeah. a negative. Something right? positive. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Right. Something to work together and mm-hmm. learning how to work with others as a group. Yes. Right. And that's a good skill for the workplace. It, it, is. Is. it is. It's part of re- rehabilitating them. Is there anything you'd like to add? Well, no, I can't think of anything. It's just I appreciate y'all inviting us to come talk about yes. it. Because it, it is a, uh, it's a good resource for the for the county, mm-hmm. uh, not only from the budget standpoint, but from the morale standpoint, mm-hmm. and yes. self esteem for the for the inmates, mm-hmm. male or and females. Mm-hmm. So it's it's been a good a good thing. Right, it has. And you mentioned the ladies help process, right? Yes. Uh, whenever we have volunteers for that, so when we're bringing in peas, especially, mm-hmm. um, you know, our kitchen workers, they don't have time because they're preparing meals right. to sit and um, shell the peas. Mm-hmm. So our female inmates, they volunteer, mm-hmm. and um, you know, usually when we have the garden going on and the the female inmates are volunteering their time, mm-hmm. um, once the garden starts dwindling down a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, we will. Uh, provide um, like a pizzas and stuff for them mm-hmm. just so that you know to show our appreciation for their volunteering mm-hmm. and you know preparing the, that produce nice. for us to, to put in the right. kitchen. Right. Yeah, you uh, had a great picture on Facebook. It looked very, oh, yeah. very homey. They're all gathered mm-hmm. up and yes, and yeah. you know, and it's something for them too because mm-hmm. uh, when when you're incarcerated, you have a lot of time to sit and think about missing your family, missing your children, mm-hmm. and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you're in a uh, setting like in mm-hmm. that gym and you're shelling peas and you're communicating with the other females that are mm-hmm. in there and mm-hmm. able to talk, it gets your mind off of stuff that you're going through personally mm-hmm. um, in your mm-hmm. life. And so I think that's also beneficial. You right. know, one thing about the pictures because a lot of people see that. We, we just want everybody to know if they don't want their picture, you know, okay. that they don't have to. Yes, but, they have to sign a release right. to have their picture taken. Okay. Um, and uh, we keep that on file. Mm-hmm. Um, so that way, you know, nobody says that we're taking pictures and posting them of, um, you know, inmates right. and stuff right. like that. Yeah. Uh, they volunteer to have their picture taken. But the, but the thing is, is they really want their picture taken. Right. And that, that's what's kind of neat about it is that they can, you know, opt out. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, they don't want to opt out. They're mm-hmm. proud of it, right. of that garden, right. and proud of getting their picture taken with, you know, the produce and everything. Yes. And it's, it's really kind of neat. Yeah. Right? It really yeah. is. And I know that I've seen some negative comments about the garden that, you know, it's yeah. like slavery or it's not. Oh, I know. It's a it's volunteer terrible. program. Mm-hmm. They enjoy going yeah. out and working in that garden, and they feel like they've mm-hmm. accomplished something. Um, and I think it's a great program, mm-hmm. um, and I'm looking forward to the next, you know, many years of having that right. for this community. Yes. Do you have more people volunteer than you have space to work? Absolutely. So there's mm-hmm. a waiting list to get yeah. there. Is a waiting I know. List. I know. So that's there is I mean, a waiting yeah. list, and, yeah. and you know, like I said, yeah. they have to meet a certain criteria, and if they don't meet that criteria, then we can't mm-hmm. put them out there. They may be able to work in the kitchen to where it's an inside job, you know, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, it's a it's a very good program, and we're we're extremely proud of it. And I tell you, the public likes it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you get when we put pictures on there, you can see Facebook. You know, just right, br- right. a lot of comments. You know, yes. So yes. they like it. You know, yeah. Yeah. and I do too. Yes, and it's a great use of your land. Yes, yes. That it's producing yeah. something for you instead yes. of right. just having to be mowed. Right? That's exactly right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, they're proud. And there's a sense of accomplishment, and that's mm-hmm. a great. Yes. Mo- we all need that, don't we? Right. We need right. to feel good about what we do, right. and hopefully that garden will be a start to a better life. Yes, that's what and we're turning hoping. things around for mm-hmm. for the inmates. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so right. both so much for being here today. Thank you, and we well, look forward you. to seeing the results of your garden next year. Yes, we'll thank keep you updated. Mark your calendar for these upcoming. Angelina AgriLife Extension will present a program on home tree care on Monday, February 17 at 6.30 p.m. at the Extension office at 2201 South Medford Drive in Lufkin. Get answers to your questions about caring for the trees in your yard in this free program.
the Angelina Master Gardener Noon Program on Tuesday, February 18, 12 noon to 1 p.m., we'll be at our greenhouse in the farmer's market. Master Gardeners will lead a workshop on seed propagation for the vegetable garden. Cost is $5 for materials. Call 634-6414 to reserve your place. And coming up is the Angelina Master Gardener Spring Plant Sale. It will be held on Saturday, March 28th, starting at 8 a.m. at the Master Gardener Greenhouse in the Farmer's Market. Texas Tough Plants will be available for sale. Proceeds fund educational projects of the Master Gardeners and scholarships for Angelina County graduates. Come early for the best selection. Well, thank you for watching the February edition of Forest Country Gardening. If you have any gardening questions, send them to me at the email address on the screen. We'll answer questions on future shows. Follow Angelina County Master Gardeners on Facebook to see our latest events. I'll see you next time, and until then, happy gardening.